the commutativity the commutative property states that the number on which we operate can be moved from their position without making any difference to the answer commutativity checks whether the order of the number in the operation is important or no let's check commutativity for whole numbers let's check for addition 0 plus 7 equals 7 let's change the order of these two whole numbers and see whether we get the same answer or no 7 plus 0 also equals 7 so the order of the number does not matter for any two whole number a and b we can say a plus b equals b plus a therefore addition is commutative let's check for subtraction 10 minus 8 equals 2 let's change the order of these two whole numbers 8 minus 10 equals negative 2 So when the order of the number changes the answer also changes hence subtraction is not commutative a minus b will not be equal to b minus a now let's check for multiplication 6 multiplied by 2 equals 12 whereas 2 multiplied by 6 also equals 12 here too we can see that any two whole numbers when multiplied the answer has not changed therefore a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a hence multiplication is commutative now let's check for division 4 divided by 2 equals 2 2 divided by 4 can be written as 2 upon 4 after reducing we will have the answer as 1 upon 2 so we see when the order of the number was changed the answer also has changed therefore a divided by b will not be equal to b divided by a for whole numbers therefore division is not commutative similarly let, let us now check commutative property for natural numbers under addition let's add any two natural number 2 plus 3 equals 5 let's change the order now 3 plus 2 also equals 5 so the order of the number does not matter for addition we get the same answer therefore a plus b equals b plus a and addition is commutative similarly let us check for subtraction we will now consider any two natural number and subtract them 6 minus 4 equals 2 4 minus 6 equals negative 2 so we see here when the order of the number has changed the answer also has changed therefore a minus b is not equal to b minus a hence subtraction is not commutative for natural numbers similarly let us check for multiplication we will consider any two natural numbers and multiply them 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12 So for multiplication the order of number does not matter we get the same answer a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a therefore multiplication is commutative let us now check for division and divide any two natural numbers 6 divided by 3 equals 2 let us not change the order of the number here 3 divided by 6 can be written as 3 upon 6 reduce it further in three table we have the answer as 1 upon 2 so when the order of the number was changed for division the answer also has changed therefore a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a hence we can conclude division is not commutative for natural numbers let us now check commutative property for integers now we have learned earlier that integer includes the positive whole numbers as well as negative numbers so it is a basically combination of negative numbers and positive whole numbers so we will take some of the integers under different operation and check whether they are commutative or no let's check for addition first so i have taken a combination of a negative and a positive number here negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2 that is minus into plus is minus 5 minus 3 equals 2 and sign of greater number let us now change the order of this number here 
3 plus the second number is negative 5. So, plus into minus will be minus 3 minus 5 will be 2 sine of greater number negative. So, when the order of number is changed for addition, we see that there is no change in the answer. So, a plus b will be equal to b plus a for any two integers. Therefore, addition is commutative for integers. Let us now check for subtraction. We will consider any two integers here and subtract them. 4 minus negative 1 minus into minus will be plus 4 plus 1 will be 5 sign of greater number is positive here. Let us now change the order of these two integers and subtract them. So we will have negative 1 minus the other integer was 4. So minus into minus is plus 4 plus 1 is 5 sign of greater number here will be negative. So we see here when the order of the number is changed the answer also has changed. Therefore for any two integers let's say a and b a minus b will not be equal to b minus a for integers hence subtraction is not commutative. For multiplication let's multiply two integers negative 2 multiplied by 4 we have the answer as negative 8. Let's change the order 4 multiplied by negative 2 is also negative 8. So the order of the number does not matter for multiplication. So a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a. Hence we can conclude multi multiplication is commutative. Let us now check for division and divide any two integers. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Let's change the order now. 2 divided by 8 can be written as 2 upon 8. After reducing it in the simplest form, we have the answer as 1 upon 4. So when the order of these two integers were changed, the answer has changed. Hence, a divided by b will not be equal to b divided by a for any two integers. Hence, division is not commutative. Similarly, let us now check commutativity property for rational numbers. Under addition, let's add two rational numbers. 2 upon 7 plus 3 upon 7 equals 5 upon 7. Since the denominator is common, we will write it only once and 2 plus 3 equals 5. Let's change the order here. So if you consider 3 upon 7 first and then take 2 upon 7, the answer will not change. We, ha we will have the same answer. Therefore, for any two rational numbers, when we add and if the order is changed, the answer will not change. So we can say a plus b equals b plus a. Hence, addition is commutative. Let's check for subtraction. 6 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9. The answer is 4 upon 9. Let's change the order now. 2 upon 9 minus 6 upon 9 equals negative 4 upon 9 because 6 is a greater number here and greater number sign will appear for the answer. So when the order of the number is changed for rational numbers under subtraction, the answer has changed. Therefore, a minus b will not be equal to b minus a. Hence, we conclude subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers. Let us now check for multiplication and multiply any two rational numbers. Negative 2 upon 5 multiplied by 3 upon 7. 2 3 is 6 minus into plus will be minus 5 7 is 35. Let's now change the order. 3 upon 7 multiplied by negative 2 upon 5. 3 2 is 6 plus into minus will be minus 7 5 is 35. So for multiplication, when the order is changed, the answer has not changed. Therefore, a multiplied by b will be equal to b multiplied by a. Hence, we conclude multiplication is commutative. Let's now check for division. 5 divided by 4 di divided by 1 upon 2. So division, we have learned in our lower classes how to divide any two rational numbers. So we will keep the first rational number same, that is 5 upon 4. Division when converted to multiplication. The next rational number, we will write, we will take the reciprocal of the next rational number. That is 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 1 upon 2 will now become 2 upon 1. That is reciprocal of that particular number. So 5 2s are 10, 4 1s are 
4. Let's now change the order 1 upon 2 divided by 5 upon 4. So the first rational number will be kept same that is 1 upon 2 division when converted to multiplication 5 upon 4 we will have to write reciprocal of this number so it will become 4 upon 5. So 4 ones of is 4 and 2 5s is 10. So we see here when the order of the number has changed for a rational number the answer also has changed. So for any two rational numbers we can say a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a. Hence division is not commutative. So today we have learned commutative property for whole numbers, natural numbers, integers and rational numbers. So we have understood that commutativity checks whether the order of the number in the operation is important or no. Thank you.